Hello, I'm Freelander. Welcome to the Game Trope. Today we are taking a look at a new game, Heroes of Mavia, and just some strategies. Uh, note, none of this is financial advice, if I give anything about the about price or anything. And um, uh, a lot of these strategies are based on my experience with Clash of Clans back in the day. Not so much Heroes of Mavia, but they should be very similar. Um, so should work out pretty good. Uh, I'm going to focus on base building and, and raiding primarily, but let's get into it. So I'm just now, um, just now upgrading stuff on, uh, my he headquarters four. Big thing with base building in a game like this, you always want to max out your, um, you always want to max upgrade your buildings before you uh can you see that you can't see that let me let me move myself right there that's fine all right okay so you always want to max upgrade your buildings before you upgrade your headquarters um because it'll put you at a severe disadvantage uh, towards other people at the same HQ. Now, I'm not sure if the mechanisms will work exactly the same, that you get paired with people of your HQ or not, but regardless, um, if you if you just up, un, up, 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 up your HQ without upgrading your buildings, um, your base isn't going to be as powerful. And it's easier just to upgrade your buildings at that HQ level because uh, you can uh, you can uh, th they're a similar price and everything. Yes, I know I should probably pay Visor for its uh, for its thing uh, for its uh, services here. Shout out to Visor for being my free companion here for doing uh, doing stuff on my. Uh, phone and being able to show you guys. All right, so um, obviously make sure I, I upgrade my uh, my mines first. My uh, oil rig. You have two resources: oil and gold. Um, I focus on gold primarily, uh, especially early game, because you don't need as much oil to attack people. Uh, let, like let's see, let's go into one of these. Press recruit. See my um, my basic troops here only cost ten. All my troops here only cost ten. Oh, <laughs> I tried to click on it on the on the screen. That's funny. Um, okay, so hopefully this is making sense. Hopefully I'm not going too slow. I'm trying to be a bit comprehensive. Uh, let's see what's something I can easily upgrade it. I think that's gonna take a while. Ooh, I just did the hero statue. I'm not sure how to put the hero on there. They've they've talked about it, but that's going to be big. It's both a defensive structure and an offensive structure in Clash of Clans. I assume it functions similar. Um, this is Ice Tower, which uh, is AOE and a cone that sl also slows down people. The um, These are your two most powerful towers on... Um, uh, headquarters four before headquarters four defense uh, you can do it I did it without uh, without the ice tower I just had the AA and the anti-air and the uh, cannon in the middle I haven't uh, optimized my base but I have the general uh, general principle I've just been placing down units uh, and and changing some walls around so what I'm planning to do is move my ice tower to say right here. Or maybe we can do that real quick. Ice tower to here. With walls, please. Ah. See, I wish it would snap to just a close section. Maybe somebody can submit a report. I hear they're good at updating their um, thing. This we're going to move to, well, actually we're going to move it out here because we're going to put more walls in the middle here. 
Oh, no, not right there, sorry. Okay. So these are co kind of covering each other. Is that a little too far? Let's try here. Yeah, that's better. Okay, we won't do a wall in the middle of them. So there are two goals when it comes to base defense. One is not, uh, so when you're attacking, you get one star for, uh, for defeating 50% of their base, one star for destroying their town hall, and one star for destroying everything. So you can three star, you, you can get three stars total for uh, attacking a base. Clan wars that I've seen aren't live yet in this game. When they are live, getting three stars will be very important during a clan war. So if you can prov if you can build your base so that it's very hard it's harder to get three stars, that is ideal during a clan war. Now, if you're just trying to protect your resources, you need to lay out your base differently. This base right now is optimized not for resource protection, but for surviving a clan war. Uh, getting, getting, uh, making your opponent uh, have less than three stars. Okay, if you're optimizing for resource protection, you want you want a structure that is more like every other one is a turret and every other one is a mining facility or resource storage so that it just makes it obnoxious to uh, or all your resources in the middle uh, that you want to keep um, it just makes it obnoxious and time consuming to attack you okay so there those are the two basic frameworks for a base is just you know, n making sure that all your base doesn't get killed. See how I'm in here. These are covering each other pretty good. Uh, this one's covering better. And then I'm going to put my um, turrets right on the outside of this structure. Probably have too many turrets down here. I probably need another one up here. So I'm going to move that. I'm going to put this turret over here. The ice tower doesn't need as much backup. And you see that these will pretty much cover my uh, my whole base as far as anti-air, at least my turrets, which is my goal right now. I, uh, and then I use the these as just hit points on the out, outer edge. Of course, I would move this wall over here. Okay, so that's one thing. Um, like I said, just keep upgrading your resource collecting buildings. I like to start with upgrading my gold because it's more scarce and so I like to keep that going. Now shields and attacking. Note I don't have a shield right now. So if you get attacked uh, and they win usually you get a shield of like five hours or something like that. And um, and so you you want to time your rating of other bases so that so that you're not knocking down your shield depending on how much time you have. So when I'm raiding, I'm I'm wanting to upgrade uh, let's say let's say something that needs that. Say I'm wanting to upgrade this. So I need five thousand oh, that's a bad example. Mm. Let's see. Defensive buildings usually cost yeah, okay. So I need twenty six thousand uh, oil, if you can see that there. I don't have 26,000 oil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go raiding at my rank. Uh, and again, raiding is split into two. It's do you want resources or do you want trophies or stars? So if I want resources, let me pull you over a little bit so you can see loot available. Hmm. Sorry, guys. 
uh, next. Because I don't want to fight that base. Oh, <laughs> that's why. I'm looking at my cursor in the wrong window. Okay. This will be better, so you can see that loot there. Just fine. Okay, so I'm looking for high oil. I'm not going to do low oil one, uh, lower than like 4,000 oil. Gold is a bit different because it costs, you'll notice it costs gold to to go on to the next screen. So when I'm raiding for gold, my threshold is a little lower uh, so that I recoup some of the cost of changing bases. But what I'm looking for is high resource content uh, when I'm going forward. But right now I'm looking for oil, so I don't care as much how many re how much gold. Now, if I were actually playing this for myself, I would spend my gold before my oil at this point because, again, gold is more precious at this stage in the game. Later on, oil might be more precious as you need more expensive units to take down... Um, take down bases and sometimes it takes a little while to find your find your one like i oh here we go here we go okay good on both i like it all right so let's just say i'm not quite powerful enough to take the center of the base right uh i am but we'll just we'll just pretend that i'm not powerful enough to take the middle of the base so what i'm gonna do is instead, since I'm just after resources, I'm going to place some decoys out here, but then I'm going to get that. Oh, no. Okay, anyway. And I'm going after the oil, so I'm going to try to spread it out, especially since this cannon can target most of my troops. And I'm just using basic units because they cost the least. And I'm just trying to get those precious resources that I want. And see, I'm spreading it out so that the cannon can only kill a few of my guys at a time. All right, now, if I were to actually take this base, like try to take it, and might I might even have started it there uh, the way I did, but I'm going to use air units here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I didn't see that. <laughs> well, I would have taken this out first, for sure. Okay, I still have some air units left. That was clumsy, so I didn't see the anti-air there. So yes, I would have tried to take that anti-air out first. Thankfully, oh, I'm going to lose like almost all of my guys there. There we go, cool. All right. So I kind of, I started with one strategy of just trying to get their resources, and then I and then I showed you kind of what you need to do in order to actually take down a base is place units in a strategic order and stuff. I messed it up because I didn't see that AA turret, but yeah, I would have taken out that AA turret, um, placing a little less of my uh, main troops there, and yeah. So you might have noticed that that took a little time. So one thing you can do, one little secret you can do if you don't want them to take out your whole base, take a low, um, doesn't matter what it is, but low health. Oh, okay, cool. So I don't think you can place it in the very corner. So that's what I'm running into there. But you can place it pretty far. So take low health stuff and just move it out to the edges. That way, when the enemy attacks, you have to, they have to spend the time to get all the way out to the edge. And so sometimes they don't have the time to both take out your base and get to these edge buildings to uh, to take them out. So that can be a way you can survive a war uh, attack uh, with them just getting two stars because they haven't defeated your whole base because it takes them so long to walk over to here. Depending on their the composition of their thing of their squad and if they just put one basic unit 
on each of these at the start of the game. It it doesn't uh, doesn't really work. But then that's concentration and resources that it's not spending on attacking your main hub. All right. Uh, another thing is when you are always keep your Q going. Uh, so keep your Q nice and high so that uh, when you're when you're raiding on a consistent basis, you're trying to um, trying to max uh, tr trying to maximize your time in the app. So your units will be training in the background as you're placing them uh, on the battlefield, and so you can keep raiding uh, more and more quickly. All right, these are all basic things uh, to do. I'll probably uh, I'll might do a more advanced one once I get higher level, but. Uh, these are just some basic tips and strategies that you may or may not have known. So hopefully, hopefully you found this useful. Heroes of Mavia, um, I would say, is a good game. Uh, it's it's for our day and age. It's still a basic game, not because it's a basic game, but because it's a clone of another game. There are some features about it that are that I like. Uh, better than Clash of Clans, there are some things that it's severely lacking that I think they're planning to add later that Clash of Clans already has. But that's expected with a open beta game. So, um, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, it it um it takes a little longer to play um, than a lot of games, but at the same time, uh, it does have a good system of of training troops in the background and you can actually keep raiding for longer than I remember Clash of Clans. Of course, um of course this is lower level. If if you're doing more advanced units, they sometimes take longer. So like um yeah, it's it's going to uh as you get up in level, it's going to take longer to do raiding and stuff depending on your goals. If you're just raiding for resources, uh, then yeah, and the more advanced level, the more the higher your uh, ratio of defensive towers to normal stuff is. So you can probably protect more of your resources, and um, so raiding will take it will be more in resource intensive because you actually have to uh, do more than just a few basic units to take the resources. So okay, that's all I have for you today. Hope you you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you all later. Freelander.